Hey guys, welcome back. So we've got a new anime series I'm checking out today, finally diving into Steins Gate. I know this anime is pretty popular amongst the anime crowd. It's a classic and I've had a lot of recommendations to check it out. I did a poll on my Patreon about which anime I should check out next and I was very close between this and Death Note. But Steins Gate just kind of pip death note by one vote and i thought great you know what i'm excited to check it out so those of you who want a death note i will be getting into it eventually i promise you it's something i want to watch but in the meantime we're going to check out steins gate together first only about 24 episodes or so i think so it's going to be a few weeks but we'll get through it so what do i know about steins gate it's time travel story right that's all i know I don't even know if there's a manga based on this. I'm going in very, very blind. So let me know in the comments down below if there is indeed a manga to check out and if it's recommended. But in the meantime, we're gonna dive in and check out Steins Gate episode number one, Turning Point. So as you know, this is a timer-based reaction. That's what I do here on my channel and on my Patreon. Although you can catch it earlier released on the Patreon if you wanna help support the channel. Okay, let's dive in. Three, two, one, go. I'm always excited when I'm checking out a new show. The universe has a beginning but no end. Infinite. Finite. Okay. God's final warning. Hawkerin. I've got to learn all the names now. Oh, I like the animation. That was well done. Use of light and shadow. The sun. Okay. Turning point. They're going into a bookstore. A time machine. The invention of the century. Not an earthquake. Somebody's attacking. Time machine will be of a lot of interest to a lot of people. Come on, man. One hundred yen. A metal one, that's rare, right? A metal Uber, she's quite happy. <laughs> Hey, what a great guy. Harker in. Please enter freely. Let's go. I'm liking the look of it. It's, it's got some nice anime, nice animation. Oh no, 
She dropped the Uber. He's seen something. Kindly leave. Oh, he looks angry. Uh oh. Really? Sciency. He was faking it. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> he doesn't remember talking to her 15 minutes ago. So his future self? He's crazy. Is he the main guy? No, he's freaking out. Yeah, future you. That phone buzzing is annoying. I hate that in real life as well. Oh no. It's pretty rare, man. You want to hold on to that thing. Oh, he wants to find it and sell it. <laughs> Shit. Somebody just got murdered. It's a riveting story. Who was just screaming in pain? Was it is it him? Oh, it's the lady. Mikise Kirisu. Murdered. Didn't sound like a, a lady screaming, no? It sounded like a guy getting murdered, not a... Not a woman. Laying there in a pool of blood. I'm liking the score. He 
Yeah, the woman he supposedly met 15 minutes earlier. Stabbed. Wait, what? The phone is the time machine? Where is everyone? Is he there like super early? She's here. She's got a Dr. Pepper. What the hell? What is that? We're just hitting the title now. <laughs> 10 minutes in, we're halfway through the show. We're just getting the opening credits. Okay, cool. I have no idea what's happening. Let's enjoy the song. Cool. Why are there lots of him? Ah, time travel, of course. So they're the two main players. I like the song. Hacking to the gate. To protect that smile on your face. Sometimes watching these openings to the anime in English, they just, the lyrics make no sense. The Future Gadget Laboratory. Self-proclaimed mad scientist. But she calls him Ocarin. Sheena! Do -do -do. <laughs> so Sheena and Ocarin. Yitru!
He's on, and I'm, am I the asshole? Okay, so we're... Everyone vanished. Why did everyone vanish? He's time jumped. He time jumped to before his time inside the building. Future gadget, future gadget number one. Future gadget. A remote control. <laughs> Mr. Brown. Still getting a grasp on what's happening. She loves her Dr. Pepper. Oh, he loves his Dr. Pepper. Oh, I'm not a fan. There you go. <laughs> Sounds like Australia in summertime. The you know what plan? The you know what plan? I'm trying. I'm trying to follow your train of thought as well. Bananas? Gel, gel nanas. I've never microwaved a banana in my life. Is it a good idea? Are they going to explode? Gel nanas. 
Yuck. No, thank you. <laughs> She's not, she's not convinced. You perv. Your banana's all squishy. Oh god. <laughs> oh, the good old maid cafe. So what is that thing? A satellite? A, sp a satellite was orbiting the Earth and crashed into the building for some reason. He, he was there, found a dead body. Came outside. Everyone vanished. Next thing he knows there's a satellite crash in the, in the building, but he missed that event itself. Last week. So this is the same day for him. So he time jumped to a week in the future. So whenever everyone vanished and then he came back, it was a week later. Wait. What? Wait, okay, wait. So, he time jump into the future, because those emails are a week later, and yet now the girl he just found dead is standing there in front of him. It's definitely got my interest, but it's way more quirky than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more uh, scientific drama mystery, but the main guy, I reckon, I've already forgotten his name. You know me, I'm terrible at this, is really, well, he's a mad scientist, right? He's just left the center. It's got good music. Flutter butterfly. So the butterfly is about the butterfly effect. Future Gadget Laboratory, 2011. Wow, it's nearly 10 years old. Holy crap. Okay, so once again, I'm just enjoying my anime renaissance and exploring and checking out anime that's been around for years and years and years and enjoying it. Yeah, I haven't been a fan of anime for years, so to suddenly have such an amazing array of genres out there coming at me 100 miles an hour. It's really hard to choose what to watch next. It really is. I mean, I was that close to doing Death Note uh, and I'm super excited to dive into it one day. But I've always been curious about checking out Steins Gate. Being a mad fan of Back to the Future and time travel stories, then yeah, I, I definitely had a predisposition to come and have a look at this show. So, it's asking a lot of questions. I have no idea where the show's going at this point. Just getting a feel for the characters and the atmosphere and the tone. And the story is definitely intriguing. I mean, I have no clue what's really going on. The mystery has been laid out. We got 
supposed time travel. It's not concrete at this point. We don't know. I could be completely wrong in my assumption that it's time travel. It could be something completely different. I don't know. But that's the beauty of it, coming into a show and not really knowing anything about it and watching it blind and just letting it wash over you until its story is part of the fun. And I'm going to be sharing that with you. So first step, definitely intrigued. I want to see what's going on. And I want the story to build. And I want to get to know the characters. Like I'm already struggling with names. I'm honestly terrible with the Japanese names. So I don't know why. They just don't stick. And another question is, is there a manga on this? I'll be definitely curious on checking that out if it's out there. But I'm going to dive into the next episode in a minute. I'm going to do three today. So I'm going to see if it grabs me. And obviously if you're seeing this, then job done. It has. So in any case, I'll catch you all next week. Thanks for watching.